Well, we're back at the Toledo Lucas County Public Library. And in this episode, we're going to embrace their new motto, more of everything. So one of the things I picked, on, uh, picked up on immediately on the website and as I walk through here is this new motto, more of everything. And I know more isn't always better, but in this case, I think it totally embraces that. Right, so the library, you know, we say more of everything that you love, uh, more of the things you didn't even know you loved yet. Right. Um, you know, books are just the beginning, and books and access to information are always gonna be part of what we do at the public library. But now we're talking about uh, an expanded children's library that we were able to renovate as part of this project that is an absolute showstopper. I've never seen a children's library quite like the one we have here now. Um, it includes things like a mystery wall that will have a, a challenge, a mystery challenge that uh, kids will be able to try and solve. Um, it'll change a couple times a year. Uh, we've got a number of different interactive play spaces for uh, uh, recognizing that part of early childhood literacy is talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing. Uh, those are helping you know, help kids develop those necessary skills. And so we've got a lot of interactive play spaces that are references or uh, uh, to literary or children's picture books. Uh, it's an amazing space. We also have a uh, uh, Nancy Drew collection here now that is a brand new thing that we'll uh, we were gifted an entire collection of Nancy Drew memorabilia and really? books from the Nancy Drew Sleuths, which is an international uh, fan organization. They've gifted that to the library, uh, honoring the fact that you know, Millie Benson was from here and uh, the first uh, Nancy Drew author. Uh, you know, we think about more and what, what do we have more to offer? Uh, business and workforce has been a big part of the work that we do. And so when we're talking to people about how does the library support success in our community, we're talking about helping small businesses and medium-sized businesses grow. We're talking about helping people get the skills they need um, to move up in their careers or to, to, or to start a career. And so to that extent, when we reopened Main Library, we took our, when we closed Main Library, we took our business team, we put them out in the community, had them embedded, mm -hmm. working with small business owners um, uh, and our local workforce development uh, services. And when we reopened, we decided to keep that way, you know, keep that model intact. And so now we've got a team of four librarians uh, who are out there working with small businesses, working with medium-sized businesses, um, unencumbered, you know, necessarily by the the day-to-day -day, uh, public service work, and they're actually able to be out in the community and listening to what the needs are of the business community uh, and respond to those needs. It's it's been pretty. It's a pretty great model. We had it for a whole year, uh, a lot of success, able to reach. Uh, scores more people than we were able to reach otherwise. Well, and I personally know one of those people, Linda Fairweather, yeah. who, you know, had a coffee connection with the Mommy Chamber. She was telling me about the library and all the things that are new, and oh my gosh, I was so energetic and excited about this. I canceled who my other guest was, and I knew <laughs> I, I needed to get down here to see all of this. Uh, yep, cancel the guests. Yeah, come down <laughs> to the main library for sure. You know, that, that business team has been um, just remarkable and Linda, you know, she's known all throughout the, all the region. So Everybody knows able, Linda. And we were talking earlier, you know, sometimes the best advice our business team can give is uh, maybe you should rethink that idea a little bit or give it a little more time to marry. <laughs> right, and that's right. a, that's valuable advice to help somebody make, like, make that decision before it, sure it gets too late. You know, one of the things that we did here at Main Library too, we're, you know, we we're trying to figure out what we what people we had to say no to people for, and, and a lot of that was around medium-sized collaborative spaces for people to get together and do work. You know, so we want to support success in the community. We want to give people places to work together. We have a lot of big spaces like the McMaster Auditorium, mm -hmm. we have the Huntington Room, um, which you know, see 200, 300 people. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have a lot of spaces for a group of four. Uh, 10, uh, 20 people to get together and collaborate. We have a lot more of those spaces here at Main Library as part of this renovation. The McMaster Auditorium, is that where the theater is? It is, yeah. It's a 300 person theater uh, up there on the second floor. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. I got to see um, a, a book that was, or actually a documentary that was being uh, premiered and there was live interaction from the author oh, that's great. Uh, before and after the documentary took place. So. I never knew anything like that was possible. It's it's fascinating. We and we missed having that auditorium uh, the whole year because we bring in a lot of authors. And we've been doing um, our authors author series. We used to bring in three authors each season, so mm -hmm. three authors in the fall and three in the spring. Um, we switched that model up now to work with authors when they're on tour, and so now we're able. This year we will bring in. I believe 16 authors this year instead of really? just six. And, and having McMaster Auditorium has, has been a nice uh, resource for us to do that. We, we had Sherrod Brown in here um, just last week talking about his book, Desk 88. Mm -hmm. uh, he was interviewed by his wife, which is great. She's, really? She's a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. So yeah, it's, it's nice to have that resource back in our back pocket here. 
Well, I'm sure that this is considered to be a gem among the offers as soon as they start coming in here to see what you guys have to offer. It's true, and C-SPAN was here as well recording the talk, and they said, you know, we're, you know we, we see a lot of libraries. This, is, this, <laughs> one's, this one's pretty special. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thanks again for tuning in to Coffee with Eddie, and please check us out on YouTube and on our business Facebook page.